Look upon him now. Your admiral. Admiral of, admittedly, only two fleets so far, but I'm working on it. Golden from the tip of his head right down to the tip of his tip. I mean, and the rest of it, too. That'd be really bizarre if it was just the tip and then the rest was fleshy. Be like c 3 getting out of the bath. All right, hang on a second. I've just got to bring this up. If the Pirate Speak mod changes it from Love Enhancer to Passion Augment, firstly, that seems backwards. Secondly, why is it not called like a... Like a... Like a treasure todger or something like that. That would be far more piracy. Now, I left this as a comment on last episode, but let's say, for example, purely hypothetical, of course, that if Bucko Drink were to appear in a future crossover series featuring a lot of many characters overcoming some great evil, anything we do to him in this series will, of course, appear in that one. And one thing I would love to do to Bucko Drink is to make him some golden skin. The finest goldest skin for our most golden pirate man. In fact, that might be... No, no, that's not it. But it's close. All we need are seven more members of the Forsaken Corporation. F f 15 members of the Privateers. I've got a plan for that. Don't panic. And then to give them a shitload of gold. And we have one. Or I suppose more specifically, I've set out to achieve the goal of uniting all the pirate clans under the banner of... Sweet Bucko Drink, the golden captain. However, the privateers, I don't believe we've even so much as touched. I think we still need 15 of 15 of those before it will be considered a victory. Why are you all eating at the same time? What's happened there? Sorry, maybe a better question is why aren't you swallowing? Huh. <laughs> it can never be easy, can it? Uh, that seems to have fixed it. It was a problem with the bin. Do I know what's going on? No. Maybe reality is breaking because it was not prepared for such a sexy golden bucko drink with diamond kidneys and a spine made of sapphire. And you think that would actually make him more vulnerable to being shattered, but... Here we are. Oh, and Bucko's other crewmates are at work finding those people that we need to complete our crew. The Sea Serpents, of course, we've already taken control of, so that is fantastic news. And there's another one, the Cursed Crew have taken the warrant on Cryobubble. How else are we going to deal with the privateers than, of course, taking the Golden Shower out for a spin? Slightly larger cargo passed in, of course, a lot more speed than these other basic galleons. This is a ship for true pirates. This is Bucko Drink's flagship, goddammit. Bucko's ship may be faster, but we can still only take six people, so I'm sorry. Cringe, you're staying home. And to be honest, I think Salty as well. Salty is the chef. She might have a nice sword, but that doesn't make her good enough to be able to take on this journey. Not compared to a war casket or tide bubble. 17 shooting with an anti-material rifle and a jetpack. Yeetmore, of course, has more than proven himself many, many times, and the others are the old classics, you know. Oh, my God. It's a work of art. Can we capture 15 people in one go? I very much doubt that. I think that's going to be very, very hard to pull off. Luckily, they're quite convenient. Privateers were, of course, the closest faction to us. That's exactly why I left them to last. This is the base of a group of insane people that I'm not sure I want to recruit. You are going to bring down the average crew standards. This is a mess. You've got cargo containers in a pond. I don't know how they haven't sunk. Those barrels are on their side, defying the very nature of, of, of life. Though, so are those. That is hideous. Large explosion of damage because they're red barrels. Obviously, everybody knows that. You don't have to point that out. Okay, here we are. The BS Golden Shower. You think we give him a broadside? You know, for old time's sake. Bucko me boy. Broadside him. Well done, Bucko. Great shot. That's one turret out of the equation. Only another hundred to go. Let's bring the melee characters forward. Let's sit Captain Helix with that enormous, ridiculous war casket cannon. Somewhere convenient. To be fair, Tide Bubble can stay on the ship and also broadside if you really like. Because, I mean, honestly, that gun is um insane. Oh, look at them go. Look at them go. We got the fast firing. We got the artillery. This is a thing of beauty. Sire, if you will. I think we just move them in. I think we move them in. Let's do it. Search and destroy, my friends. Search and destroy. Yeet more. Let's start eating more. Butch, just take them all out. Get in there. Go I didn't like that for a second. <laughs> oh! Okay, now of all the ones you have to shoot, that's... Why is it always you? Get him. Remember, we need him alive. Just remember, we need him alive. Try and knock down as many as you can. What happened to Butch? Why well, is Butch down already? <gasps> what the fuck? Both of her legs immediately got taken out by a rifled musket. What the hell is that? Who did that? Power. 
Have you got some sort of perk that lets you shoot people in the legs? What? what how did... How has that even happened? Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, that's Butch out of the fight, I'm afraid. Bucko, keep it long. Keep it long range, please, pal. Shit, we might not even survive this at this stage. Let alone winning them and knocking them all down. Jesus Christ, that's ridiculous. Oh! Bucko! Keep it fucking long range, big man. Eat more. Eat more's left thumb must have gotten cut by that saber. That's okay. That's okay. Eat more. Another permanent injury. What is it? Right hand. You've been disarmed. What happened? You lost your hand. What is going on with these injuries? This is brutal. Captain Helix, me boy. Siege mode. Get him. Nice. We've won. We've won at the very least, so we're going to be able to take some prisoners. Is it enough? Why? You, you quite literally just shot your wife. I don't know what the fuck else you could have been aiming at there. That shot only was going for Sire. Take her out. Take her out, for God's sake. Please kill this person. Please, for God's sake, kill her. Base destroyed. My God, was that messy. I just cannot believe that they specifically only hit Butch in the legs and took her out of the fight as early as possible. That's actually kind of insane. I bubble's a very good doctor. I kept them with some medicine so they can start patching people up. No problem. We take out the turrets as fast as possible. Then we can reform the ship and get the hell out pretty rapidly. Don't worry about them. For God's sake, just take out the turrets so we can leave. Area is safe. Why? Oh, because all these turrets are offline. Oh, that's probably a side effect of, of building on an atoll. If we reform quickly, they can be tended while we're on the go. People, how many do we get? One, two, three, four, five, six. Not bad. Not, not bad at all. If we get a little luckier with the next raid, that might be all we need. Somebody keeps forgetting to move the bloody ship that's parked in the way of the prison. Eat more. I need you to come get a, get a prisoner for me, please. Reserve my master cringe. Master cringe, you've got enough on your plate already, my friend. Oh, right. That's because I couldn't move the ship because I accidentally built the dock under the ship. That would do it. Yeah, hold on. Beautiful prison. A beautiful prison. I'm not even sure I started turning the other people. To be fair, they've been unconscious for a very, very long time. Holy shit. Hello. Well, that was uh, terrible timing. They've landed right on top of us, have they? Oh, shit. Okay, uh, I need the entire squad here. Nobody ever expects horrors from the deep. Bongwater can fight. We should get you equipped. You, you, you're ready. You're good enough to fight now. Take, uh, who was Chicken's weapon? That was, uh... I, I want to say that was Yeti's. I know it was Yeetmore. You know what? I don't think that Uncle Yeetmore would be very upset if you were to take his gun. Oh, Lord. Okay, it's not a huge amount, to be fair. We could probably execute a couple before they even know what's coming. Hold on. Hold on. Cringe. Let's get you in there, too. Bear in mind, Cringe could just side power them if things get really out of hand. Where's Sire? Bloody miles away. Okay, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Oh! Great deep ones. Horrors from the briny depths. They're on it. They're on it. Cringe. Cringe dropped his flag. Oh, cringe, you idiot. Okay, we've taken out a couple. We've taken out a couple. Bucko, what are you going to do realistically? You're going to stand back and you're going to wait and see which way the... See which way the wind blows here, my friend. Um, the rest of you, let's say search and destroy. Let's finish them off as we're knocking them out, please. Bucko, what part of wait and see did you not fucking understand? <gasps> they ripped Cringe's leg off. You ripped Cringe... Oh, cringe. Okay, um... Well, his wife's right there. She's got to come and help him. Can I help your husband? He's only got a flag for defense, obviously. The poor boy. Oh, that poor boy. He's okay. He's okay. He's not going to die. He's not going to die. He's not going to die. It's just annoying that the second we cure his problems is, um... Why can't we get in? Oh, go in. Go in. Go in. Put the fucking fire out. That's fairly urgent. Salty, go in. Finish that one off. Finish, 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 finish. Cannot finish off. Melee sit skill required. Okay, then. You could just stab it with your sword. Who am I to tell you otherwise? Tide Bubble, get Mr. Cringe out of here, please. Get him out urgently. The rest of you, maybe put out the fucking fire. I don't want to tell you your job, but this is... Oh, God. My refinery is blowing up. <laughs> okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're fine. So they still got the negative for... Oh, they do. It depends on the, depends on the horrific denizen of the deep that they see. What is that thing? Minus 40 for observing a deep one. Let's just get them destroyed. ASAP, please. Oh, good. More, more, more treasure from Cat's butt. Now, there's something I want to do today. Something I've been promising for a long time. So we might be moving away from the treasure. Let's just deal with Mr. Cringe first, and then we'll talk about it. Um, just give him a new leg. Just immediately chuck him a new leg, right? Which one was cut off? Right leg. Here you go, my friend. Boom. It's not exactly the most sterile room right now, I will admit. But yeah, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Lovely. What type of leg did you give him out of curiosity? Oh, just a regular, regular steel leg. I've equipped my good friend Captain Helix with another one of the fancy conversion rods so they can also help out. And it seems to be going pretty bloody fast at this point. Boom. Nine out of 15 of the Forsaken Corporation. Lord. How many have I got left? One, two, three. I've got bounties out on a shitload of them. We don't necessarily need to imprison them all. 
I was just doing that as a backup in case anything went wrong, like a prison break and somebody gets killed. Ridge the Oaf. Let's pay the silver and bring them into my prison. Hello, how much silver have we got? Can we afford this? Yeah, we're good. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Oh, look, it's our Viking fleet of friends. Buckos, uh, uh, what, what do you want to call it? Subcontractors? Not really sure. Part of Bucko's fleet, anyway. Oh, you motherfuckers! Not again. Not again. My heart can't take it. And if they turn hostile because one of their guests came to my place and died, I'm going to be so annoyed. So annoyed. Annoyed beyond reason. Just put them down. Just put them down and leave. Thank you. Appreciate the gift. Yeah. Whenever you're ready, please, Seagull. That's it. You just leave them there for me. No. You don't, yeah, you don't have to... You don't have to put them in there. Okay. Well, you're not. That's good. Okay. Um, yeah, I, see, I, I, I need them back at the prison. Seagull. S Seagull. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. You shouldn't have. Thanks, I really appreciate that. You really shouldn't have. But you don't lose opinion for imprisoning somebody we're already hostile to, obviously. So if we get another, or more specifically, if we, if we stop being hostile with them before we've um, got enough people to convert and send away, then really we should we should, we should should stop doing it, right? That makes sense. So I said that in the right order. We don't want to intentionally make ourselves hostile if we've already got it ticked off. Otherwise, it's just more work for Master Cringe again. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Finally, the payoff. You remember when we were b back in the day when we had no wealth and no money? It was knocking off like 2% conversion per time. Now that I am rich and famous and powerful with my 826,000, conversion rates are faster than ever. Doubled, if anything. So 12 out of 15. Really, what we should be doing is not releasing them until we know we've got enough to tick it off. Otherwise, if we release another, we might go into, again, non-hostile. Although, we can release another and be safe. You, see, you know what I mean. I don't need to explain this to you. You're, you're clever people. Allegedly. Oh my god, that's so fast now. It's just so unbelievably fast now. It's almost like having hundreds of thousands of wealth might ma make them want to join us a little bit more. Ah. Oh. Ooh, a gift right on my doorstep. It's the Forsaken. Uh, what are they called? Sorry, I don't I don't remember the names of people who mean less than nothing to me. Maybe if they joined Bucko's fleet, it'd be a different situation. The only problem is, now I've equipped my enormous war casket man with a... With a, with a fancy stick for converting. And squad, close up. Oh, where are they going? Are you going to go right through my spaceport? Don't go through my spaceport. No. What are you doing? Push forward. Bucko, 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 bucko. Go, 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 go. Get away from me walls, you bastards. They are lined up so, so perfectly. Bucko. Bucko, don't get distracted. Bucko, don't get distracted. Oh, what a bad shot. Oh, it wasn't terrible, I suppose. Come on, come on. Oh, fire, 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 like right there, right there, right there. Go, bucko, fire, bucko. Ooh, not bad, not bad. I'll certainly take that. Uh, you lot, wait. There's a cringe moment in here. Hold on. There's a cringe moment in here. Hold on, hold on. Uh, maybe just take that one out. Fine, fine. Do what you can, do what you can, cringe. They, they moved apart far too quickly. You two, let's say, search and destroy. Run home territory now, so if they try and take us out, we can heal up pretty fast. That is a fucking mess. This is a problem. This down here. Um, what have we got? We've got Tide Bubble. We've got Salty. We've got Captain Helix. Let's move you away. And let's push this lot up. What are they doing? They're shooting that parrot. Why are they shooting that parrot? What are they doing? That's a good Mr. Cringe moment right there. Cringe me, lad. Join us down here. If we could fire a Berserk Pulse into that group. Holy shit. That would be awesome. Let's say Search and Destroy on you as well. Cringe. Run. Cringe. 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 There's still an opportunity. Master Cringe. Master Cringe, there's still an opportunity. There's still an opportunity. There's still an opportunity. There's still an opportunity. Boil and die! Yes! Oh, but they're already fleeing, so it actually makes no difference. Bollocks. Well, on the plus side, we've got enough for the prison now. Oh! Your robot wife, please, please be careful. Please be careful. I love that Butch is just like, yeah, right back on it. Totally unfazed, for the most part. Anyway, boom, great shot. Okay, you know what? Let's just focus on getting the ones we have got to prison now. Don't worry about killing any stragglers. Can I just say shout out to, uh, shout out to Yeetmore over here? Absolutely holding it down. Took out like four or five single-handedly. My God. Beautiful, though I do think we're going to have to bring some more doctors on board here. Let's, let's re-recruit Bucko to doctoring. And that, my friends, is more than enough. More than enough. Even if they don't all survive, which is unlikely they will. Although we're giving it a bloody good job, though. Look at this, eh? Actually, shit, they're going to be all fine. Wow! It was an amazing time, and I'm so happy that we didn't have to piss around with that for ages. 
Okay, here we go. No more, no more, no more sailing over. No more trying to capture more people is my point. No, we've got another capture, uh, another faction to go for. Convert release on everybody. Because then we probably don't have to take the treasure either. What I would like to do is keep one in the prison just in case. You know what? Let's keep Bogeyman because he's got a frightening name. The, 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 the Boogeyman. Now, what happens here? Is this enough? 15 out of 15, but we just need the opinion now. To be fair, with every person we're releasing, we're getting like 12 opinion. It's not going to be enough though, is it? Hold on. 6 times 12 is what? 72? How much do we need? Uh, what am I looking at here? Help me. Uh, we're up to 16. It is enough, in theory. Are we going to risk it, though? I think we'll release everybody but one person. If the penultimate person doesn't do it, we'll just send them a gift, and everything will be fine. Golden Bucko smiles upon ye. What was I supposed to install in his golden bucko? What about his golden skin? Have we done his golden skin yet? What's going on with his golden skin, though? Hey, what's going on with that? Huh? Cannot even believe I'm about to suggest this, but at this point, steel is more valuable than gold. And Bucko is a sensible man, okay? He understands that the greatest treasure is that with the highest market value. Things are only worth as much as people are willing to pay for them. Bucko Drink does not collect NFTs. Have we still got the food in that? Uh, how long are you going to be gone for, Rinus, to go? Okay, let's go get some food. Bucko has the basic understanding of capitalism. Bucko can't hold it in his hands. It's not real. You'd think I'd be better at doing the accent... Uh, where I'm from. And yet, <laughs> here we are. Well, if we're at 64 and it gives 12, so we let you go, that takes us up to 76. That allies. So then that, sh that, sh that should do it, right? You don't have to be allies, then release someone. That wouldn't make sense. Otherwise, you've got to get someone to release, right? Surely. Okay, okay. Kabang. Minus 22. There you go. Get out. Fuck off. And then ideological conversion. Boom. <laughs> Yar, you bastard. Look at that. Oh, it's a beautiful sight, is it not? Now, if I have a look out here on the planet. Oh. Oh. <laughs> More fleets for Bucko Drink. And that leaves only the privateers. Oh, I see. We've got to give you a peg leg. Hey, it's a pirate miracle. Have two peg legs. It's Bucko's treat. Please, just hurry. Please eat more. I want my golden Bucko. Eat more. Where are you going? Making it. It's, it's golden bucko time. Get out of my way, autosave. What the fuck is happening here? H Hello? No raid notification? Is that normal? Is this a raid? What What's in there? Quickly, destroy it. Destroy. Destroy. <laughs> I can't believe that works. Okay, I won't do that again. <laughs> what is it? <gasps> Hello there. How are you doing? Oh, God. Eat more. I'm sorry. A code drink. Bucko drink. I need you to fucko off, oh Bucko, please. Get back. Get back. This isn't your fight, Bucko. Captain Helix, permanent injury. Right eye. It's okay. It's only an eyeball. If that's the... Are we going to survive this? Butcher's had a leg ripped off. Again, are you fucking kidding me? This better be a fucking joke. I just... Like, what is wrong with Butch? What the fuck is she? Is she like a paper mache person? Huh? You can glue bionics to her. They just get ripped off in two seconds flat. I mean, I understand these are eldritch entities, but for fuck's sake... Oh, you know what? Fuck this. Blast him. Get fucking blasted, you big bitch. Oh, watch out for Mr. Cringe, though. He's a, he's a, he's a special boy. He's a special boy. Um, Honestly, start casting your skills. They took him out before he could finish the cast. Oh, my God. This is actually very, very dangerous. This is actually exceptionally dangerous. This is actually getting quite problematic, please. Um, I mean, what powers have I got with you? Like, initiate... Well, fuck it. Maybe it works. Maybe it works, huh? Uh, no, that's salty. No, I wasn't- I, I wasn't salty I was after. I think Captain Helix may die here. I think Captain- Nice one, Captain Helix. There we go. That's what we like to see. Um, where's Sire? Sire, 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 Sire. For God's sake. This is nonsense. This is actually nonsense. Go kill him. Great shot. Tie bubble. Oh, sweet tie bubble. You need to get the fuck out of there, pal. Get out. Go. Jump. Butch is back up. Can you execute that one for me, Butch, please? Nice. Jesus, these things are ridiculous. These things are unkillable. They're actually unkillable. Bucko, be so careful with those shots, pal. Because if Sire goes down, I'm not sure we can win this. Nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Yeetmore's bleeding out in six hours. Master Cringe is bleeding out in 12. Helix is bleeding out in two. Helix needs immediate medical attention. Get over there. Tend them uh, right away. Can we get you finishing off the downed vampires? Because if they're just knocked out and they get right back up, we're back to square one. Go, go, go. Kill them. Don't shoot Master Cringe. Stop firing. No, no, Ty Bobby, you seem to be ignoring my fucking orders here. Ten Helix. 
You get Salty out of here. Bucko, I don't know where you're going, but can we get Master Cringe? Please, Master Cringe is going to die too fast. Bongwater, get over here. Drop, drop, uh, take, take Bucko to Bongwater. Go, go. Sorry, take Master Cringe. Bucko, you know what I meant. You know what I mean. Okay, here, 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 here. Ah, uh, uh, tending without medicine. Why have you got medicine on you? What's happening? Okay. Okay, everybody's going to be fine. No one's going to die here. God damn these cosmic horrors. It's because we're allied with everyone else. We left ourselves open to only the cosmic horrors. Maybe they fear us. Maybe we've made an enemy. A greater enemy we could possibly imagined. Yeetmore's looking a little bit up Shit's Creek here. Ten Yeetmore. Okay, you should be fine as well. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Everybody's fine in theory, on paper. I don't think we've got to worry about the rot or anything because we've got very, very good medicine. Fuck me, that's ridiculous. Okay, well, on the plus side, at least we've been stockpiling bionics. That's so ridiculous. They sucked... <laughs> oh my god! They sucked his eye clean out of his skull. They sucked his leg off. Oh, how ironic that the uh, sexy vampire would be the one to get their bits sucked out. Incredible. Um, what do you need? You need a leg, an eye, an arm. Um, basically, a new head wouldn't really hurt. Yeetmore, what have you lost? You need... Uh... I, I think you need a new arm, for sure. So right uh, shoulder, right hand. Don't worry about the rest of it. Like, it's unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world there. Butch, what have you lost again, dare I ask? You, you got a whole leg ripped off. Right, okay. Jesus, I'm not sure we've got enough to cover all these people, but we'll see what we can do. I've been stockpiling for quite a long time. Cringe, what are you missing? Um, Actually, nothing. Somehow you managed to survive that. I almost don't believe it. Salty? Uh, Salty's also fine. Heavily, heavily scarred. You lost a lung... Which I don't think... Oh, I do have a spare lung, so I took one out of Bucko. Boom. That's not quite how that works, but you know what? We'll roll with it. You said... Oh, obviously, Dr. South 10. Bong water, get up. We've got people dying on the table. Sire lose anything? Sire's fine. Bucko? Bucko's nice and golden. So, cringe. M lost some stuff there. But other than that, it's actually not too terrible, is it? I'm definitely going to have to build some other replacements here and there to patch stuff up. Shit. And actually, you're missing, like, most of your right hand at this point. Maybe a new arm for... Bong water too? A clockwork arm for bong water? I think if anybody deserves it, the, the, the colony doctor should have the best manipulation. That just makes sense. Either that or the warden. <laughs> Whoa, so if I throw Butch in for a rejuvenation cycle, it heals everything. Look. Shattered. Oh, it can't. It, right, it only regrows one thing, right? No, no, well, that's not true because of Cringe's brain injury. I have no idea how this works. Every time I think I know how the bioscopter works, it always surprises me. You know what? That's okay, though. Because in life, would you not prefer surprises to mundanity? There you go, big man. Cut Scar was killed. That was one on his brain, right? Oh, <gasps> he's almost back to. Oh, he's basically back to full health. 10 out of 10 on his brain. Oh, my God. Look at him. He's not been this good in a long, long time. I got Butch and Big Man Bucko in there too, just to cure some of their scars that they've had pile up. Sai is the other one attuned, so she doesn't need anything. I've got one free pod. Is anybody like significantly fucked up? Yep, they are. It's salty. <laughs> um, Jesus, I mean, everybody's got some sort of mess going on here. Salty, honestly, I think you need it more than anyone else, pal. All of this will be cured, and then one of these will be cured as well. That's, that's fine. Bucko, me lad, I think it's finally time. Where is it? Show me. Show me, where's the, where's the golden skin? There it is. Hard stone skin on the torso. My god, it is complete. Sweet golden bucko. Is that everything though? Hold on. Uh, Trisha Restless Augment, that's the, uh, that, that's the, uh, circadian, uh, something, something. I can't, I've got pirate, it's a pirate speak, I can't remember a fucking thing anymore. We've got the Treasure Restless Augment, we've got the Treasure Tourniquet Augment, we've got the Beauty Weaver, the Vitality Augment, the Passion Augment, the Hardstone Skin. How much more can you stuff into this man's torso? Anything, as long as it's made of treasure or jewels. What a boy, what a man. What else would be really good if we could just make, like, a solid set of... Prestige cataphract gear made of treasure. We need to research it first, genius. Davy Jones's armor. We got halfway there. And I gave up for some reason. Go, Butch. Go, Butch. Go. Go, Butch. Go. You've got 26 thinking. After all the skill anchors I brought you, you should be able to crack this out in two seconds. She can't because we're still supposed to be reverse engineering, but she'll, she'll get it. A gift from the sea servants. 34 treasure. You got damn right 34 treasure. A tribute to their admiral. I almost called him Captain. Swanky Davy Jones's armor. This is going to take a lot of trading to buy this many advanced components, okay? Let's put that one right at the top, because that is very high priority. You can't stuff it? No. 
Why the fuck can I stuff everything else but not that one? What are you talking about? Can you stuff... Oh, you can stuff regular cataphract here. Apparently, it only costs 25... Ingredients? Oh, dear. Did somebody make an oversight? <laughs> That's not right, is it? Oh, look. The Kraken's helmet is only 25 as well. Oh, dear. Somebody made a stinky. What sort of pirate would I be if I didn't immediately capitalize on that, huh? How long is it going to take? Did I, I did actually stuff that with gold, right? Yes, we're good. Salty completed her cycle and her shredded scar, in brackets, war casket, handheld cannon was cured. Can you believe those star vampires turned up with war casket, handheld cannons? <laughs> yes. Bucko. Bucko. You will be gold inside and out. You leave his armor alone, catfish chef, you big bitch. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I could have just painted his old armor. You're right. In fact, we still got enough dye left. I could have just, well, I could have just painted it. Would have been far less effort, wouldn't it? Now that Golden Bucko is complete, I say we finish the job. Another beautiful base here from my good friends, the privateers. What have you done? <laughs> what the fuck is this place? What are you, what are you doing? You can't eat those. On the plus side, that's Helomex. And we'll certainly speed things up, won't it? Bucko broadside him. It's maybe one of the last broadsides we've ever do. <laughs> Bucko, I need you to immediately take out that uranium turret. Go. Beautiful man. Beautiful man. A couple more. It's got a dead eye cannon. That's that's frightening. That's frightening. I don't like that. Let's move you forward. Tie bubble start blasting at it too. If we could just bring you forward very slightly there, friend. Bouncing off your shield. I don't like that, but that's okay. Uh, Sire, now's the time. Let's go aid fighting. We need to be as, oh, as accurate as possible when we take that thing out. It's okay. It's cut off from power. Beautiful man. Beautiful sweet man. Stop firing at the crowd now, Bucko. Let's kill him dead. Kill him dead. Kill him dead. You lot what might want to move forward very slightly. And you know what? I'll micromanage Bucko. Don't worry. No one's going to get hit again. I promise. No one's ever going to get hit again. Fly like there. Fly like, fly like, uh, fly like there. Go. Oh, that was a good shot. And one more there, big man. Oh, he's, he's so good. He's so good. He's so good when he wants to be. Okay, how are we looking here? Where can I fire a big shot off at? I think maybe there, try and... Don't know what the hell that was. I don't think it was Bucko, though. Boom, that's what we like to see. We've certainly got enough prisoners if we want to cut our losses and get out now. Eee, be careful. Maybe fire a shot right there. Right there. Watch, 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 watch. Oh, you fucker. They hit Bucko on the way out. What'd you do to him? Mangled his eye again. Oh, well, to be fair, that was the non-golden eye, so it just gives us a very a very kind and friendly and good excuse, doesn't it, really? There we are, base destroyed, my god. Uh, thanks, Bucko, appreciate that. Okay, let's go ahead and allow all, because then in theory, they're still firing at something. Oh, for god's sake, people keep fucking getting up. Sit down. Butch was down again. Oh, Butch, what keeps going on with you? You've lost another fucking leg! I can't, I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't look at her. She's going to take years off my life. I can't, I cannot interface with her. I'm sorry. It's always Butch. It's always Butch, no matter what. It's always Butch. No one else has lost this many legs. That is a goose made of gold. The golden goose, if you will. Oh, they got a lot of shit, actually. Pirate King's chair. I'll take one of those. Show you who's Pirate King, you big bitches. Be free, dollar. Return to your people. 11 out of 15. How are we looking? We've got one, two, three, four, five left. Oh my God. We got it, but only just. Definitely not going to get the faction opinion we need to make this alliance, so I've sent Mr. Cringe himself out with a shitload of silver to hopefully win them over. My god, Helix was a good addition to this, huh? You're just so incredibly good at social. There you go, you enjoy that, and then we release a few more people. And my god, Mr. Cringe turned mother to Bucko's way. Come along, mother. It is time. The union of all pirates under one. Bucko, we drink. <laughs> From east to west, there is only the color of Bucko's flag. I mean, it's not. It is blue. Color of black Bucko's flag is black and white, so this doesn't make any sense. The great pirate sea united under one Bucko drink. The vault is constructed. Bucko is so golden. The factions are united under one pirate king. Just don't worry about the curse crew. That they were happier, but then I declined one of their warrants and that, that upset them a little bit. But they're fine. They're still friendly. So that's the end. Thanks for watching. Uh, no. How can any pirate sleep knowing that out there in the world is Pig Venus? Okay, or oh, maybe Margaret Thatcher. That's the one we're really after. Over to the east. 
the Queensman. The perfidious redcoats led by Margaret Thatching herself. Think it's time the pirates take the fight to them. And my god, I think there's only one device that can help us do it. It's finally time, Golden Bucko. It's finally time. We reward the pirates for their loyalty by wiping out their greatest enemy. I can't afford it yet. We've got lots of steel built up in Cat's butt, and we can go out there and do a lot of trading and buy a shitload. Then we prove to them the power of Bucko. Bucko returns to his full power. Return of the Bucko you all know and love. And that will be happening tomorrow. Thank you for joining me. For and, and tomorrow will most likely be the final Bucko adventure. I can't think of anything else left to do with this man other than prove his total dominion over the planet. Wipe out the Queensman with a barrage of mortar shells like the witch hasn't been seen since previous Bucko and maybe Maria Chunk. And then Bucko is back in control. He can get in touch with his intergalactic crewmates who have been scattered throughout the galaxy since his fleet was destroyed. And they can rebuild and they can go after that big, great evil. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining me. Hope you've enjoyed the series. Next series is going to be a weird one. Uh, obviously not ready to go quite yet. Uh, Generations do still be a worked on in the background, so bear with me on that one. Lots of weird custom stuff going into it, and it's a very complex occasion, so your patience is always very rewarded. I think we need to do something silly, something fun, maybe something much harder as well next series, because... Uh, to a certain degree, there wasn't much threat this series, was there? There was lots of times where people almost died, which is arguably, you know, the closest thing you can get to losing colonists. But even then, it didn't, it never really felt super, super difficult. And I think, you know, being on an island map is certainly a big part of that. So next series, I want to feel a bit of pressure and a bit of, a bit of stress. So I've got some things, uh, some things in action. If you want to, of course, join in on that, I'll be making them all pack over the next few days over on Discord. So keep an eye on that one. Thank you, of course, to Ozymandias, Helixian, Amazilla, John Stoddard, Cesium, Dark Desire, Matthew Capon, Yatti, and Fexen, Dragon, M R H, Noira, Talk Nerdy to Me, Squiggly Line, Aromatic Fool, Spongy One Three One Two, Higtastic, A Random Fur. Luna Wolf, Asana Kirito, Scapegoat, Evan Crocker, Monmon, Mon, Rage, Warseeker9994, Phantom, Volpine, and Commissar Fox for their support at the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining me. And of course, a thank you to Decrepid, MW, Pape, The Fog, Crowd Slayer07, Romario, Mimknez, Jason, Ganser, Alyssa V, Merlin Kane, Ursus Arctus, Z Audio 951, Luna Maya, Buckyo, DQ, and Primordial Chaos. Beauty, Tornike, Augment, Beauty, Beauty Weaver, tre Treasure, Beauty Beaver, Treasure. Uh, tre uh, 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 <laughs> I can't. I uh, no more series with Pirate Speak. This is nonsense. <laughs>